Joe, could you just uh, briefly explain what happened in that match with the 4-1 lead and eventually, unfortunately, you're on the wrong end of the result this time? Um, I mean, I guess what happened is that I have an opponent on the other side of the court um, who, who has everything to say in, in how the match goes as well. And uh, um, I think uh, she was playing very well and uh, I think I couldn't quite find the level that I needed to... to to make it difficult and challenging for the kind of player she is, um, she's a very difficult to play on this, uh, a di very difficult player to play on this surface, um, and in general, <laughs> she's a very good player. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's unfortunate I couldn't, I couldn't quite find the level needed to to um, to come through. You said after losing the French Open semi-finals that you had no regrets and you wouldn't do anything differently. I was just wondering if you had similar feelings today or whether there are moments in your mind where you think, oh, I wish I'd done that differently or wish your approach had been different? No, I'm in the same boat still. I mean, I, I, I went out there, I did my best and, and my best today just wasn't good enough. But every decision that I made, every every um, every thought process, every every opportunity that I gave myself, everything I have no regrets in doing. I mean, I, I did the best that I could. <laughs> Looking at the numbers, it was 33 unforced errors, and then you had a, a smash at the net, which you hit straight to her, and then towards the end of the third set, you had a double fault and then missed a, um, a drive volley. Do you not have to look at yourself a little bit about how you cope with these big points? Because it's all very well saying it's a lot to do with your opponent, but there were key points when you perhaps could have done better. Is that in your professional tennis opinion? No, that's just as a watching <laughs> spectator with everyone else in centre court willing you on. Okay. Um, again, I think. And the numbers uh, are IBMs. Okay. Okay. That, I mean, I. I don't think you need to pick on me in a, in a harsh way. I mean, I think uh, I think I'm I'm very open with you guys, and I I say how I feel out there, and if if you don't want to accept that answer or you don't agree with it, that's fine. But. Um, I still believe in the tennis that I play and I still believe in the way I competed and um, yeah, I don't have much else to say to your question. I'm just asking you as somebody who presumably wants to go on from here, learn from this and, and win a Grand Slam one day. Is it not something that you need? Please don't patronise me. I'm I, not I would patronising you. No, no, you are. In, in the way, you're asking, your, in the way you're asking your question, you are being quite disrespectful and you are patronising me. I'm a professional competitor who did her best today and that's all there is to that. Let's move on to the next question, please. Just behind. Yeah, there was a moment of X-rated language from yourself on court. Was that a sign of the, the frustration that you were feeling at that time, sort of early in the second half, second set? Um, I mean, I guess so. I don't, I don't recall. I mean, yeah. I mean, she, she's, she's a frustrating player to play. So, I mean, I definitely found myself in a few frustrating positions out there. But uh, ooh, apologies if I, if I swore. <laughs> You keep going deep into Grand Slams and not going all the way to the finals. Does that convince you that you are going to get there one day or does it concern you that maybe it's always going to be nearly? Um, I think the best I can do is put myself in the in the positions and, and to give myself the opportunity to go to keep going further and further. And I mean, it will it will either happen or it won't. But um, um, I'm no less of a person or a player um, if I don't get past this point. Um, Equally so if I do. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I play this game with dignity and, and I, I love the sport and I'm grateful for everything that it brings me.